are looking at a live picture from our Virginia Tech sky cam and you'll notice friends that we have just a few clouds around our fair share of blue skies, our fair share of sunshine out there as well. Today was a beautiful day to be outside and tomorrow looks to be a nice day to be outside too. I will tell you tomorrow may have a little more cloud cover than today and tomorrow also looks to be much warmer than today. But man, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, Jeff. Wednesday was a wonderful day to be outside. I can't say Tuesday. That would mean the weekend is one more day away, right? Here's a look at the radar and you'll notice, friends, that it is a clean sweep on the radar. We're going to stay dry here as we head into the overnight tonight and then as we head into the day tomorrow. Going to start off with skies pretty bright, pretty blue. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, though, wouldn't surprise me if we start to see a few more clouds around, especially as you head in areas along and west of the parkway. Then as we head into Thursday night, it looks like we're going to be partly cloudy. Friday will start dry for us. And we're going to see some sunshine Friday morning too, especially as you head out the door in the morning to school or work. But notice that the rain Friday 730 is going to be in West Virginia. Look what happens by 10 11 o'clock in the morning. We start to see maybe even a few showers into our southwestern most county. So between roughly 10 and maybe 2 p.m. We may have the chance for just a little bit of rain into our westernmost counties and then from around maybe two to six on Friday afternoon, we have the chance for a few showers out say towards south side. So the chance for rain goes up to around 30% on Friday, but tomorrow looks like a great day to hit the golf course. We're looking at temperatures around 80 degrees, partly cloudy skies, probably more sun than clouds. Honestly, tomorrow not looking at a whole lot of wind around as well. So overall can't get much nicer to be on the golf course than tomorrow. All right, so 67 right now in Blacksburg. It's 70 in the Hill City, 72 in Danville, also in South Boston, 59 in Hot Springs. The big picture shows that now through the weekend we're going to have a whole lot of thunderstorms out say towards our nation's heartland. It's going to be really nasty from Minnesota south into Texas from Saturday on. But for us, with the jet stream going way up to the north and with a southerly flow, the summer heat returns for us as soon as Friday. So what we're looking at here is a very good probability for areas along and to the east of the parkway having temperatures reaching 90 Saturday afternoon. Ditto for Sunday afternoon. So therefore Saturday and Sunday, our official forecast here at Storm Team 10 is for highs right around 90 over the weekend, maybe a little bit cooler towards the mountains. And I will tell you the average first 90 degree day in the mountains comes as we head into uh, June or July for the middle part of our viewing area. Roanoke Lynchburg usually see that mid to late May and then areas in pink. We start to see the first 90 degree day. So towards Danville and South Boston as we head into the early part of this month. So it's kind of right on time when we really should start to see our first 90 degree day. 88 for us on Friday, 90 Saturday and Sunday, middle to upper 80s Monday and Tuesday. And we're right back up in the lower 90s on Wednesday. Looks like a best chance for rain over the next seven days may come on Friday. And then again, as we head into Monday of next week, but no big real storm system is going to impact us here over the next seven days. Lindsay.